Hello friends, in our today's video lecture, we are going to discuss our next topic which is uh, called as the objectives of scheduling. So there are many objectives that must be considered in the design of scheduling disciplines such as such as number one fairness it suggests that treat all processes as same that uh, during the scheduling the CPU or the operating system must treat all the processes as same and no process should suffer no process should suffer indefinite postponement means all processes must be treated equally and no process should wait for an indefinite moment of time so this is called as fairness second objective is throughput means the scheduling algorithm is such that it must attempt the largest possible number of processes largest possible number of processes per unit of per unit of time so in general it is considered to be as the milliseconds so max number of processes max number of processes per milliseconds it is considered to be as the throughput so for a scheduling algorithm the throughput must be maximum so the objective is to maximize the throughput the next objective of scheduling is to is predictable it's called as predictable it suggests that every process should run should run in about in about the same amount of time same amount of time irrespective of irrespective of load on system means if a system is facing a higher load then it should not affect the process execution time that is called as predictable number four is called as resources or we can call it as keep resources busy it says that all the resources of the system must be busy or we in short we can call it as keep resource busy as much as possible next is avoid indefinite postponement that no process should be postponed for indefinite amount of time number 6 it says that if priorities are assigned to the processes then system should favor high priority process that if you have a number of processes 
and some processes are of higher priority then system should favor higher priority process and they must be executed before all the other lower priority processes so these are some objectives of scheduling and one more objective called as overhead it suggests that if a uh, small portion of system resource is invested as overhead then it can or it should greatly improve the performance the performance of system means if if we or if certain system resource is invested as overhead or added overheadly then it must or it should improve the system performance in a great manner this is called uh, considered to be as overhead so these are some major uh, objectives of scheduling that is fairness predict uh, through uh, that is a fairness throughput predictable and keep resources busy as much as possible avoid indefinite postponement postponement and should favor the higher priority processes and overhead so uh, that's it uh, for the today's lecture in the next lecture we'll discuss the scheduling criteria and try to cover the types of scheduling as well so thank you and if you have any query then you may you may ask in our comment section thank you